All right, guys, so if you guys didn't know, season four of the K Count Frenzy event is currently active, and you are going to be versing the giant anniversary K Count once again. And there are some things that you guys need to keep in mind when you guys are playing this game mode. And I just want to let you guys know that, first of all, uh, the buffs that you have actually leveled up from season one when you guys first uh, played this uh, event, you are actually going to be keeping. So you don't need to spend any of your regular anniversary K crumbs in order to level up these from level 1 to 10 again. So you guys do save some crumbs there, which you guys can go and use on the actual resources here, especially the skill powders for the extra level cap increase that is going to be happening for February 14th. And something that I do want to keep in mind before I get into all of the builds and things like that for you guys to reach a higher score is that the k -Count Frenzy is going to be active for Season 4 after the actual update happens. So you guys will be able to get even a higher score than you guys will currently be getting if you guys do level up your cookies from level 70 to 75 and also their skills from 70 to 75. So I recommend that if you guys do want to save your stamina jelly as well as some of your coins, then it might be a better idea to keep the guide and tips in mind. However, you guys should wait until the actual level cap increase happens in order for you guys to take advantage of those extra levels. But let's get into the build real quick, guys. And it is pretty much going to be exactly the same as the uh, one before from season one however there has been some changes for the toppings of some of these cookies and i do want to talk about some of the replacements that you guys can make for some of the cookies that you guys might not have or might not have leveled up so let's talk about the team real quick first and it is going to be milky way as well as eclair with alfagato rye as well as our licorice cookie and here we go guys the toppings for every single one of them are going to be exactly the same and that is going to be five of the searing raspberry for every single one of these cookies the only thing i do recommend you guys to keep in mind is trying to get at least up to five percent cooldown in order to take advantage of the maximum 60 percent cooldown each cookie can have because you guys do get a 25% from the Jelly Watch as well as a 30% from the actual buff from the event. So all you need is going to be that extra 5% in order to reach that maximum of 60% for every single one of the cookies. Besides that, the only other subsets that you guys do want to keep in mind is going to be the attack and the crit percentage for every single one of the cookies. And of course, uh, the higher, the better it is going to be. But now let's talk about the treasures real quick. You guys can see that the whistle, jelly watch, and the scroll are going to be the three treasures. If you guys do not have the whistle, like you guys actually don't completely have it at all, the replacement that you can make it is going to be with the scythe, uh, which will actually maximize the amount of crit uh, possible to 100% as well, because you guys do get a 60% crit from this buff. And all of the cookies actually do have around 13% of crit percentage built into their actual stat so with the 30 percent you're going to max out on it another option is going to be the slingshot but i do recommend you guys to even use a level one of the whistle because the crit percentage of 15 percent is going to be exactly the same from level one to 12 but the only thing that is going to change is going to be the attack percentage as well as the damage resist percentage that you're going to get for two of the highest attacking cookies. Now, talking about the quick replacement for some of these cookies, if you guys do not have Rye cookie, you guys can actually replace Rye with someone like Vampire. And also, if you guys do not have Vampire leveled up for some reason, then Squid and Cookie is also going to be an option for you guys. But make sure that all of these cookies do use Magic Candy. And I do recommend you guys to have it at, at least plus 10 for Rye, Vampire, as well as Squidding. For some of you guys who do not have Licorice Cookie leveled up or don't have the Magic Candy for, then what I recommend you guys to do is replace Licorice Cookie with someone like Captain Caviar or someone like uh, Poison Mushroom, once again, Vampire and Squid Ink. But the reason why we're using Licorice Cookie and who is going to be our main damage dealer is because of the fact that Licorice Cookie is going to be doing damage now uh, curse damage, which is going to also be a poison damage. And on top of that, there is going to be that defense reduction by 40%, which is going to be a lot. And that 40% is going to be a ton, even compared to Captain Caviar, which is going to be about 42%. You know, it's only 2% less and on top of that, you're able to take advantage of the poison damage. And if you guys do not have Afogado leveled up, then again, the option are going to be someone like Poison Mushroom as well as Captain Caviar, even Squid Ink and Vampire. But keep in mind, Afogado is going to have this Amplified debuff, which is going to allow your poison damage as well as burn damage, your bleeding, as well as a defense reduction to actually have an Amplified effect on it. 
So you're going to be able to do more damage and uh, even put that debuff even further. So just keep in mind, that's the reason why Alpha God is in here. I'm sure all of you guys have Eclair as well as pretty much with Milky Way right now. If you do not have Milky Way, however, the option is going to be someone like Dark Choco, I would say, who is going to have that 13 second cooldown or honestly speaking, any of the tanks. But the reason why you're using Milky Way is because of the defense reduction as well as Eclair. If you don't have Eclair for some odd reason, and you guys have Moonlight, Moonlight will be an option, but Eclair is going to be one of the best to have that weakness debuff stacks up to four times, maxing out at 100%. All right, now with all the cookies out of the way, let me talk about the buffs real quick. So the three buffs that I do recommend you guys always have a hand, at least one of them, is going to be either the 10% extra attack every 10 seconds for each of your cookies or the periodic damage plus 80 percent as well as the crit damage 75 percent if you guys can get all three of them then it is going to be awesome you're going to be really really be able to do an insane amount of damage if you guys have two of them and you guys can get a third one which is going to be like attack percentage plus 50 percent or attack speed or things like that then it's also going to be beneficial but the best combination is going to be periodic damage plus 80 percent as well as crit damage plus 75 percent or something like the periodic damage plus 80%, as well as 10% additional attack every 10 seconds for each of your cookies, or a combination of all of those, all right? So that's pretty much what you guys should be aiming for, but just keep in mind, the crit percentage is not going to be as beneficial as the crit damage, because you already have that 60% one again. Uh, you guys do have the whistle buff from 15%, or even the sight, which is going to be additional 30%. And also the crit that is built into the cookies so as you guys can see i have reached 245th place uh you know earlier before when i did the live stream i have actually hit a couple other uh scores uh beating the previous score that i have done in the beginning as well uh with some of the uh, additional buffs that i have talked about just right now and of course once again guys the level cap increase from level 70 to 75 is going to be taking place on february 14th and season four is going to be active during that time so this score is actually not going to be the highest score or uh the record right here the ranking this is not going to be the highest score there definitely is going to be even higher or even further that uh they're going to be able to get it once that level cap increase happens but as of right now if you guys do want to take advantage of it you guys can or you guys can just play it without any of the buffs save your coins and just get the crumbs that you guys need to buy some of the resources anyways guys i hope you guys found the video helpful good luck with season four and i'll see you guys all on the next one